Hey everybody, welcome to the latest edition of Sketchy Go Ichi. I'm your host, Roger Andrews, artist, illustrator. You know what I do. <laughs> At least some of you do. And if you're new to my channel, please do click subscribe. If you'd like to see art and you'd like to see the how-to and the making of and um, commentary track, basically, of uh, how I create and how I can help you get better at your art, this is the channel for you. So stay tuned and enjoy. Getty go itchy. Hey guys, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I know you have so many options out there and hopefully uh, hopefully this will be fun. So I'm gonna play around with um, playing around. <laughs> Essentially what I do is um, concept sketches for a living, uh, particularly for toy and game industry folks. Um, but to stay fresh and to stay sharp, I love to just kind of freestyle. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, I'm calling these mini monster mashups. So I'm gonna take two creatures or two of anything, mash them up together and form a new creature. If that makes sense. I hope it does. All right, so anyways, I'm on the iPad Pro first edition, uh, Apple Pencil first edition, and um, I'm using Procreate. Gotta get it. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. So, um, so we're doing mini monster mashups. Uh, we'll pick two things. I'll do a, uh, I'll put a cat and a spider. I'll mix the two of those together. All right. So on one side we'll have our cat, and the other side we'll have our our spider. Okay. So I'll just do a little quickie, quick sketch of each, and we'll see where we stand when we merge them together. Right? So, kitty cat. We will do a really cute cute one. Well, I hope it'll be cute in the end. <laughs> That's always the plan. Alright. Of course a little spider. spider will have. I don't. Anyway, you get the gist. That's the <laughs> those are the two creatures we're gonna we're gonna merge. Right, we're gonna make something new out of. Okay? So uh, again I just like to freestyle whenever I do I always start with a basic shape. Um, never fails in doing so I always get sort of my uh, base level inspiration. Never, never ever fails, just by starting off with a couple of basic shapes. Okay, so obviously me being a character designer guy, um, I have to kind of figure out which style I want to go in. Um, you know, so I'm just gonna kind of just play and see what emerges. Um, whenever I do, I, Almost never I'm happy with the very first thing I sketched, it's just, which is a huge thing I always like to share with um, young and aspiring artists, is the first thing you lay down on the page isn't always the best thing. Um, not everyone heeds my, my warnings <laughs> in that regard. Um, I'm always curious why, um, why be focused just on one, one sketch. Why not do multiples? Um, maybe someone in the comments <laughs> can, a can answer that. Um, because if we're drawing and we're having fun doing so, um, why would we want to stop? So maybe someone can, can help me out with that. All right, so we are we're just playing around with some shapes. Again, I have no clue where this is going to wind up. It's just literally just little 
rough loose sketches um, and obviously as you can tell it is no rhyme or reason it's literally whatever the shape that I lay down determines all right hopefully you can kind of see that let me zoom in a bit so you can kind of see what I see all right so start of sketch number one again this is a, uh, <laughs> a spider spider cat we'll call it <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen some of my previous videos or I've kind of seen some of my art if you go to uh, I guess if you go to sketchygoichi.net or check me out on Instagram also sketchygoichi you will kind of see um, the stuff I like to do in that in that kind of again in that toy and game and video game realm um, it's stuff I have the most fun drawing which is why <laughs> I uh, choose to do it a lot and to share it a lot um, it's um, something I've been doing since I was a little, little kid. You know, just kind of, um, you know, drawing characters. Obviously, you know, doing comic book characters at first, of course. You know, as most of us are prone to do. Um, <laughs> so anyways, it's a little spider cat <laughs> on the nose, yes, but again, these are just having fun. Um, so I'm going to knock by, knock down the opacity. Oh, by the way, I have a whole video series on, on uh, a continuing vid video series on how to use Procreate step by step by step process. Um, literally, <laughs> I'm taking it and doing a little small little bite sized um, lessons on how to basically how to draw using procreate so if you're wondering what the heck is going on here um, I, I break it down and explain it in a much <laughs> much better and more, more detailed um, conversation with you guys I should say a one-way conversation basically a lesson <laughs> I guess is what we could call it so anyway so I've got my sort of um, basic groundwork for uh, this uh, spider uh, spider cat um, so I'm going to refine it by giving it a nice little ink line. Um, you know, obviously brush selection is important. I use the technical pen. So if you're wondering, I know I always get asked, hey, what brush do you use? Uh, that is the one. And also notice too how I kind of switch the canvas around. I shift it and move it around. It's kind of the way I've, I found helps me to ink and draw comfortably. It's the way. Okay, the beauty of working digitally is if you don't like a line, you just delete it. Got that. Like that one, I did not like it, so I deleted it. There's a bunch of cool little tricks too to working digitally, like filling in shapes with, <laughs> with black or any other color. Um, not so easy to do in when you're working in marker or any other <laughs> medium for that matter. Anyways, there's one eye. The other. Um, I am refining this in ink, but I'm not going to do a perfect ink render. I, don't, I just want to have fun with these. I really don't want to be so bogged down on making sure every single line is perfect. So when you are leaving those comments, <laughs> please bear that in mind. Um, the intent is just to have fun with these and, and from then not to be absolute dead on perfect renderings. So don't don't knock me don't knock me for for, for not being perfect, please. All right, let's zoom that up a little bit. And it's just, again, um, when doing these characters for fun, I like to allow the imagination to kind of take hold, um, to not be completely locked into any, you know, any one style necessarily. 
know, obviously this has its kind of its own sort of like, you know, cartoon, cartoony look. I get that. So I guess that is, you know, I guess that, <laughs> I guess that is a style. Um, but I just like to, I like to draw and I like to freestyle and I like to come up with different, different characters and different um, form factors. Like this one has got, by form factor, I mean kind of like the, the shapes and everything kind of create a certain look. Um, and this one clearly has this sort of, you know, for lack of a better way to describe it, this real sort of cartoony look, comic booky look. Um, again, it's my comfort zone, so of course I'm going to render as much as I can in that style. Um, it's just, it's the way. Right, and also I do realize he's only got um, six, six limbs, six, six uh, spiderly limbs, which probably makes it a little more crab-like than, than spider, but uh, I suppose I could shoe on another limb back there if I wanted to. I guess I'm the author of this, I still can. You know, here, for those who are uh, not arachnophobic, I had that fourth limb way in the back, in this little cat logo on his chest, rather than a spider logo, because we got to give the cat some love. Okay, that's what that's supposed to represent, by the way, if you're wondering what that weird shape is in the center, and why I chose to put it there. Okay, and um, then we are going to do a little drop shadow. That's what that is, by the way, if you're wondering what that weird dark shape is underneath them. I think, um, Oftentimes, people, when they're drawing, they kind of forget about that. Um, you know, if I'm drawing a character, uh, you know, it's not necessary, um, necessarily, to add drop shadow underneath the character, but I, I find it gives it sort of like this, um, makes it look like it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's on the ground. It, it's rooted somehow. Um, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's unnecessary. <laughs> um, I, like, I thought this was a fun little idea. I don't know where it came from to do these little spider web whiskers. I've got to be a little careful on that side because of um, kind of overlaps his legs. So I don't like that last one. So I'll do it like that. Maybe I'll have this one kind of go up over here. Um, and then maybe when I overlap his legs, I'll kind of address it a little better this time. So we're going to do five. Um, <laughs> why? I don't know. I find it often works uh, best when you do an odd number on something like that. I don't, I don't know why that is. Uh, I don't even know if it's necessary to do an odd number. And here's a little trick I'm going to do. Oops, made an extra couple of straight lines there. Um, little trick. I use, also use the eraser tool again, which you will see in uh, <laughs> when you go back and check out my uh, how to use Procreate videos. I like to sort of. Take away the line, it overlaps. Um, it's a little trick. It's and I pick one side and be and, and I'm consistent at where it goes. So in this case, it's the upper and the side line there. Oh, the straight line. Um, I could put it underneath, but I put it over here just to stay consistent. And if you notice now, it kind of separates um, the web and makes it look like it's in front of. Right, it's a little trick. To do so, I'll do it over here, over there, and it just allows it to separate. And then same thing over here. Okay, and I'm even going to do a little little line over here to represent the other side of that leg. All right, and and then we'll put in the other lines. You know, no, nah, actually, I will do it in black. I was going to do it in another layer, but. Why bother? Alright, so, open our little spider lines. Yeah, I don't like that one. I don't like that one either. So I'm going to do it like this. That's two of them. Again, I'm going to shift that canvas around to find a nice, comfortable inking position. Can see why I wanted to move that that la that um, whisker over so that way it's affected less by the um, the webbing, the actual webbing, <laughs> not this uh, whisker webbing. Put it over 
over there. chest or the center segment of the body. Do those as well. Yeah. I was gonna do them on the limbs but I may I may hold off on that. And then we'll do these sort of these little webbed lines to connect them. Like that. By the way, a lot of people really I'm not a fan of drawing Spider-Man. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I mean, it's definitely one of the, the more challenging, um, challenging characters because of the webbing. It, you know, obviously it's a lot more work to, to kind of render um, a bunch of webs all over the place. I get it. Um, but for me, I, I I like it. I and I'm not a you know I'm not trying to make more work for myself, but. I do kind of like having, uh, being able to draw that. All right, and then I'll do these on his ear, on the ears. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this part open. Where the ear, uh, the sort of the inner part of the ear, and I'll leave that part open, I think. Just do a little thick line so I, I know that that's an actual open area. Same thing on this side. about the whipping on this so let me, let me fix up this little cat logo a little bit just a little just a little bit segments of the of the legs kind of blank. Alright, so let's see what I have. Let's take away the red. Alright, oh, a couple funky straight lines, straight dots that I could have happen sometimes when you're working in there. And he's a little little wonky looking. Actually there's a couple more strays. There's a tool. I don't know what guys got in there. But um it's looking a little funky. Again, another beautiful thing about working in Procreate uh, or any other digital app is the ability to kind of warp and manipulate. I think he looks, looks better. He's supposed to be a skewed character anyways, but I think he looks a little better now. Let me make sure I'm on the right layer. Yes, I am on layer four. Um, oh, by the way, oftentimes I will I will layer, uh, should I say, label my layers, uh, line art. And, you know, these sketchy ones, I'm not even gonna mess with them, I'll leave them alone. Um, so anyways, so we've got the rough, we got our rough spider. Um, he's not fully enclosed. By that I mean that some of the line is not perfectly, um, what's the word I'm going for? It's not perfectly uh, contained. Um, there's going to be some tricky areas. There is some techniques that, again, I've showed you, showed you guys in some previous videos on how to um, address that. But in this one, I'm just going to... Actually, it's still kind of wonky in here. Again, the ability to edit... Actually, you know what? Subtle the difference is a little subtle, but it feels better for me. All right, so let's see. Let's see how he looks overall. Which space does he take up on the page? And about that much is what I want. All right, so let's get into some coloring. I am going to. Um, this is oftentimes, what I do: I create a new layer and I put it underneath the line art. And um, I know this seems old school and counterintuitive. I mean, oftentimes I'll just literally fill the colors in, but I like to do sort of like an outline of the overall shape um, and then uh, fill it. Fill it so I have basically, you'll see. Words are, words are uh, escaping me right now. I'm, uh, 
um, like everyone has been cooped up in the house <laughs> for about a month. So um, the point is I will indeed, hold on, I see a little something a little funky too. I just picked up on this. I like it better the original way. Anyways, I'm gonna stop right there. This is uh, part one <laughs> of this video. And come on back for the color version. It's gonna look like this in the end. Come see how I get there. All right, sketchy go each. Live your moment. Happy sketching y'all. Please be sure to follow me on the uh, socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and definitely subscribe. Peace.